Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to focus on in this video is how to write a number into scientific notation. So first of all, we want to know what scientific notation is. Um, hopefully you're already kind of familiar with this. I mean, I think uh, that's probably going to be um, most beneficial for you to watch this video. But just in case you don't know what scientific notation is, it's a method um, that we use to, to handle or rewrite very, very big or very, very small numbers. So here I have two numbers. I have 72,800, and then I have this other number, 0 0.00000613. Okay, now these numbers aren't, I mean, they're semi-manageable, you know, to be able to work with them, multiply and divide. But imagine if we're dealing with a number like this, for example, 0 0.00000000. I could just keep going, going all day long okay and make some crazy number up um, imagine if I had to uh, use this in my calculation now in science hence the word scientific notation oftentimes you do have to use very very small numbers and very large numbers so you know we don't want to sit and write these numbers down all day it's just it's just impractical so we need another system to rewrite um, very large numbers and very small numbers in a way we can um, handle them and that's scientific notation so I have two examples of um, numbers that are written in scientific notation and I'm going to show you the characteristics of what a number that is in scientific notation looks like so the first thing is we have a number okay we have some number and that number is going to be a number between 1 and 10 always 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 so we'll have some number between 1 and 10 okay so here we have 1.96 here we have 8.72 and that number could be negative, but we're looking at the decimals. Um, it's between 1 and 10. Okay, And that particular number is going to be multiplied by some power of 10. Okay, So this, or these right here, are numbers that are in scientific notation. You have a number between 1 and 10 times 10 to some power. Okay, All right, so how now do we write a number in scientific notation? So let's go ahead and take a look at our two examples here so it's really going to be a, uh, we're going to use a decimal point to rewrite these numbers to, to make them look like a number that's in scientific notation so 72,800 where's the decimal point there okay so hopefully you realize it's right right after that last zero so it's 72,800.0 we don't typically write it that way but that's where this uh, decimal point would be located now if I asked you using these digits where would I have to move that decimal, decimal point to um, form a new number between 1 and 10? Okay, so you have 72800. Well, hopefully you realize that what, you, what you would have to do, let me kind of get this number out of the way for a second. What you would have to do is put that decimal point right here, 7.28. Okay, now I, don't, I can write 7.2800. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do that, 0, 0. Okay. So that would be our new number, okay? That that now this forms a number between one and ten. Seven point two eight zero zero is between one and ten. So let's take a look at um, how many spaces we had to move the decimal point to form this new number. Okay, so what we did was move it one, two, three, four spaces. Okay, four spaces to the left. That's what we did, right, to form this new number. So what we're going to do is write this new number down, 7.28. You can write 2800 if you like, but it's not necessary. 7.28 times 10 to some power will be our number uh, written in scientific notation. So what power of 10 are we going to write? Are we going to write? Okay. Well, that's real easy. The power of 10 is going to be the number of spaces that you had to move the decimal point to form that new number. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that's it. That's the number 72,800 written in scientific notation. All right, so if you're a little confused, just kind of let this sink in and maybe, you know, rewind the video and watch it again. I'm going to review what we did. Okay, so we determined where the decimal point was with our number, 72,800.0. And then we said, okay, I want to form a number between 1 and 10. And I know 7.28 um, is a number between 1 and 10. 
7.7 is not, 72.88 isn't, the only number is going to be is 7.28. So to do that, I, what I had to do was move that decimal point over 1, 2, 3, 4 spots. Okay, so now we have 7.28 times 10 to the 4. 4 indicates um, how many spaces you had to move the decimal point. Okay, now we're talking about a large number, and anytime you move the decimal point to the left, okay, the power is going to be positive. All right, and you're going to see that in our next example here. So let's take a look at our next one. So let's ask ourselves the same question. Where do I have to move the decimal point to form a number between 1 and 10? Okay, well, that number is going to be 6.13, right? It's going to be right here, 6.13. So we need to put that decimal point. I'm actually going to write it right there. Okay, so that will form the number 6.13. So 6.13 times 10 to the what power? Well, we had to move the decimal point 1. Two, three, four, five, six spaces. Okay. Now this time we moved the decimal point to the right. Okay. Previously I moved it to the left. I'm uh, trying to think back if I said left or the right. It doesn't make a difference. I moved the decimal point to the, the left. Moving it this way, the power is going to be positive. Moving it to the right, the power is going to be negative. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be 10 to the negative 6 power. Okay, so that's that number written in scientific notation. Okay, so hopefully not too confusing. Um, you know, uh, I think first, if this is the first time, you know, um, you've seen scientific notation, it's definitely worthwhile to maybe watch the video again. But better yet, you should come over to our website, algebratesthelper.com. We have uh, tons of free uh, videos and other tutorials all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so um, hope to see you soon, and good luck.